Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Jewish Greece. Um, okay, I'm just starting a new recording session here and it looks like we are still having the uh, new recording session bug. So that's nice. Let us uh, wait the month and uh, this revolt risk should go away. I have absolutely no idea what's causing this. Maybe I should like post it somewhere to tell the developers but mm, laziness and all. Uh, yes, that's right, we just uh, gave Jewish Algiers a bunch of clay, uh, that was fun. And, uh, ooh, it looks like Morocco has just lost a bunch of land. Well, not a bunch, but, uh, ah, are you kidding with me? 101%. Sadly, this province is so shit that even losing it is not enough to um, get Morocco small enough to vassalize. Look at them cores, I want to feed them to him. Well, after I annex his butt, but... Well, after I vassalize him, I mean, but... Um, anyways, uh, we, are vas we are currently annexing some vassals, and... Um, we have room for more vassals. What are we planning to do right now, though? Uh, I guess I can think about that while I wait for rebels to die. We have lost Holy War against Tlemkin. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, that's kind of a pain, actually. And, oh, yeah, that's... I'm gonna assume that's where our troops are going. Oh, yes. Uh, Funj wants to marry me. I don't see why I would, honestly, because they're gonna be dead soon. No, I've said this before, no point in marrying dead people. Unless you're into that. Which, uh, I mean, if you are, then... I don't know. I guess there are other questions to think about. Uh, are we invading Persia, maybe? Yeah, we don't have a truce with them, so... Um, I think that could be great fun. Uh, we are losing all our money, though. Are we... Yeah, we're paying for this crazy-ass missionary. Well, I don't want to have to go into debt, so let's kick him. Oh fuck, that's not even going to be enough, kicking me, kicking him off our council. Well, I'm still gonna have to do it, I can't go into debt, that's no good. I have shit to core. A lot of shit, actually. Yes, yeah, so maybe going to war with Persia is the smartest, because... God knows, I can't really afford to make any cores now, and I'm gonna have to pay for a lot of cores. Of course, I'm gonna be fighting Persia for a while, I guess, so uh, there will be time for points to be saving up, but um, this guy has to go, sadly. And uh, I don't know how to figure out what on earth is costing me so much. The army. Well, oh, I have a lot of mercenaries. Well, I guess we can go and get them killed in a war. That's a good way to save money. Well, the war is also probably going to be quite expensive. Damn it, is this shit going on again? I thought I told you to stop this madness. Or never mind, was that different? I can't remember. And I guess it doesn't matter, as long as one of... Well, yeah, this literally doesn't matter to me. As long as they just keep their cores. Uh, and they will go away soon, I guess. Well, not super soon, but... Uh, we def definitely need to get working. Look at that, 80, 78. Yeah, we need to, we need to invade, we need to fight, go to war, stuff. Uh, we want to fight rebels first, though. Which is uh, going grey, I can see. And we are sieging here, and uh, did I see some troops in Algeria? Uh, yes, well that's useless. Well, I guess we will want to sit here and help uh, this little knobhead deal with his rebel issues. Uh, soon he'll get an army going though, and that should do the trick, but... Um, hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's struggling a bit. Don't know what we're doing. I don't, want, don't know what we're gonna do with this. Honestly. Because I want to fight Persia, but I'm actually going to have to... I mean, I need a lot of troops to fight Persia. Is there nothing else we can do in the meantime? Just build up some strength. Maybe we could go fight Marahan. I think we might want to do that, because he actually doesn't have any allies right now, so this is a good time to fight him. Does he have... Well, I, ooh, yeah, he actually does have quite a bit of forts. Some are getting siege though, which is wonderful, but um, yeah, maybe we will fight Marahan and then we'll make some money. And then we'll go mess around with Persia. Because, uh, oh no, my potential ally. Wait, that's right, we did. We decided against him, didn't we? Because he's kind of derpy. I think, the, yeah, Bukhara is the one we are going to be um, making a vassal. Well, not vassal, uh, fuck me, uh, ally. That should be fun. Uh, yeah, we should probably go kill these guys as well. 
Let's do the ID and Separatist and let's put a leader in there. Get some shock going. Uh, we can, for can afford technology. Do we have any ideas? Um, yes, but only an admin one. A shame that really. But I guess we are lagging really far behind. Well, not in military, but we might as well get military. Why not? That gives us a better cannon, and let's get some Diplo. And let's actually upgrade to the survival cannon. Survival cannon, survival cannon. So yeah, let's ditch maintenance, and let's make some money. Yeah, this is good actually. Yeah, let's wait for whatever revolt is going to have to happen over here. And then we will go fight Persia, I think. Because, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if I can really be bothered to fight Marohan right now. Like, I, I already have a bunch of mercenaries. I kind of want to use them for something actually dangerous and life-threatening. How long is the truce between Persia and Baluchistan going to last? Well, it's another 10 years. That's no good. And uh, we do not need to fund these. And actually, uh, well, there are going to be Ardalan separatists any day now and uh, Shirvani, but they're all gonna be here, so we can safely go ahead and mothball these forts. Probably even tear one of them down. Don't even know why I have forts this close to each other. Stupid. Yeah, maybe we should just wait a bit. Oh, there's, 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 there is Shirvan. Well, there's really not a lot of troops that I can spare from the siege, are there? Is there? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, let's actually get a good general in here. This guy might be even be better, because he might have one less shock, but he has plenty of fire. And it says musketeer cavalry. Oh, fuck, that's right, I have no funding. Sometimes I am dumb. And this was one of those times. There will be many more. That's the Green Force song right there. Okay, let's at least get a level 1. National base tax, he might even pay for himself. So that is brilliant. Two, dipl two diplomatic power each month? Hold on. Seems a bit limited. Our tolerance is back, so that's not buggy. So with our fucking thing? Why is it such shit? Overextension is not even a thing. I guess it is a thing. What a pain. Diplomatic influences and philanism. I thought I had more than that. I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, I need this one. Uh, overextension less than one percent. Yeah. Yeah, we need to. We need to core stuff. A missionary. Well. Where are these plans? It's these two, isn't it? I guess letting these guys... Like, how long will they take, though? Because... Oh, God. Ugh. Well, I guess it really won't take that long, so I guess I should wait. Still annoying! Well, I guess that will prevent them. Well, not necessarily prevent them, but I, that should stop them from revolting, so... I guess it's worth having that uncored for a bit. Oof. And I really wish I could see the rebel progress over here in Algiers. That would have been helpful. Uh, a golden era for culture. Hey, I actually gain an event that give, gives me positive prestige. What is this madness? Crazy, right? Right, but did we ever kill these guys over here now? Yes, okay, and we we, we even, even sieged down the thing. Cool. Well, who, who's next? Ardaland. No, not regions, culture. Here we are. Because Ardaland is here and here, so... Yeah, this would be the, this would be the place. So let's go. And uh, fuck, fucketh shit up. Please re revolt already. Ah, yes. Here we are. Now then, 
get a cord. They shouldn't revolt. Oh, look at those minuses. Reasons uprising, autonomy increase, tolerance. Yeah, they're not gonna revolt any day soon. They have learned their mistakes. Maybe not. Maybe they're just lazy. Regardless, it's irrelevant. Alright, so Haas actually lost the war, it looks like. They had to release Shamar, but I mean. Is <laughs> really that all you could do, Marhan? That seems a bit um, limited, I would say. Hmm. Here's an interesting thing though. <laughs> Hasa is actually threatened, so I could potentially ally him and then fight Persia without him, but honestly, I kind of want to fight Persia with him. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look who's never not allied with each other anymore! <laughs> yeah, never mind, let's go fight Hasa, because uh, I don't need to spend any admin on that. So that is actually awesome. Let's go do that. Good times, good times. That shouldn't be much of a difficult war. Oh joy, let's do a holy war. Ah yes, nothing like a good holy war to pass the time. Um, why am I, there we go. Okay, so I want all mercenaries to be in one army so that I know which army is gonna go kill itself. I guess I do have a lot of manpower, so I might even just disband the thing and rebuild it after this war. That might actually save me a lot of money, so let's do that instead. Fuck off. And go die. Should boost income. Oh yes, hello money. Yep, yep, yep. Totally worth it. Completely, 100%. Love it. Kurdish. Ardala. Oof, yeah, let's fortify that in case something nasty happens. The Azerbaijanis are calming down though, so I think we can safely unfortify this area. Yes, I love it. Uh, we have money now, so I kind of want to build something. I want, I want a fort over here, although probably future revolts won't happen here. Nah, there's not even any separatism anymore, so... Now that I actually have money to build a fort, it's no longer needed. <laughs> What's going on over here? <laughs> You're converting it! Wow, that's cute! And kind of horrible, because you can have all the rebels. But, um, oh well. Such are the ways of things. Ah oh, yes, we can convert. Let's go that. Go away, stupid Christians. Ditch that Jesus guy and accept the pure religion. Britain no longer con considers me a rival. <gasps> oh yes! Alliance! Woo! Don't know why England ditching me as a rival for some reason made him like me, but honestly I do not care. Because this opens opportunities. Oh, I said that right. And maybe some opportunities as well. Ooh, Provence even likes me. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> they're, wait, hold on. They're leading a union with Switzerland? The Kingdom of Switzerland? No, the Duchy. What? Okay, I'm not even going to question this anymore. That's just weird. Alright, how, how do we get a, in a war that France would also join? Who can we invade? Who's France interested in? Actually, he's friendly. I might join the weirdest things. Would you fight Serbia with me? Uh, nope. Why not? Because of, I don't know, other reasons. Yeah. He would actually join me fighting Serbia. That's hilarious. Not hungry though, sadly, because he's kind of allied to that guy. No, so that's not going to work. We need to find someone else. Moldovia, can we fight you again? Uh, distant war. Nope, that's not going to happen. Like, I assume he will join Spain, but... Uh, yeah, yes he would. He hates Spain and he want to fight him, but I don't want to fight. Like this, that's going to be like a that's, a... that's a very big war to just, you know, as a dis to use as a distraction. Uh, a bit much, honestly. Would you join this? Nope. He wouldn't. It's too distant. Shut up with your distance. Because I need him to join a war with me so that he cannot join the war defending Hungary. Because I need to murder you, that would be so perfect. He's even allied to Serbia. I can take land from Serbia and cancel his alliance with Muscovy. Ah, would be so beautiful. Ah, he would help me fight Lithuania, which is kind of dumb, but I mean, what the hell? Who cares? That's uh, he is a guy. I, actually, I kind of want that. I want Bessarabia. 
So that would be, I mean, if we could do this and make it awesome, then that could be great fun. That would be quite a war, fighting Hungary and Lithuania, but uh, that could just be entertaining. I can get my uh, estuary and uh, a bunch of land for Bulgaria, which means I can annihilate him from the map. I can fight Serbia, Hung. oh my god, this is wonderful. In the meantime, we'll go beat up some Arabs, uh, which is also fun uh, pastime in EU4. Um, do I really have that future? I feel like I should have more. Is this really 80? Is this... My, like th this, These three stacks, they, they just don't look like 82. I feel like... got a feeling like someone is hiding somewhere. I guess I can look here. No, there. that's... Okay, well, I, I suck at math. But I'm gonna become a history teacher, I think, so... I don't need math! Woo, go me! Planning ahead. Uh, oh, those points are barely coming in. And I get too much military. Should have chosen a military idea, but... You know, previous me must have had a plan or something logical with that decision, so... I will put... Oh, wow, I'm making that much cash? Okay, well... Look at that trade money! Fuck me, that's good! 27? What the fuck? Huh! What? What changed? It didn't used to be even close to that. Now it's amazing. I mean, I did just annex Kandar, I guess, but I thought I already looked at that. Maybe, maybe I already knew that. I don't know. But the trade money is definitely doing better now. So go us, I guess. Go me. Go Jewish Greece. Let's go kill Hassa. This is a wonderful start to the night. I'm con considering doing an, doing an all-nighter because I'm so bad at getting up in the morning that I think that it's going to be easier for me to just never go to bed than to actually have to get up early. Um, from my experience, that is the way of things. Well, that's right. I, I don't I don't actually have to pay attention to Algiers because uh, I would get a pop-up now if he got into trouble. And look at this guy. He hasn't got shit for troops. Lull, 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 lull. What kind of fortresses do you have? You built anymore? Please tell me you haven't. Nope. <laughs> he hasn't built yet. Well, there's this one, but that's not something he has built. That's an old uh, Yemeni fort. But still, that's gonna make this whole conquest kind of fast, because once this fort has fallen, then pretty much everything has fallen. So let's get conquering. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. Have to go all the way like that? Um, well, I have some more troops here, like emergency troops, but I guess I can send the rest over here. Oh, look at that, he's keeping the sieges for himself. That's fine though, because uh, I do intend to give it, give it these lands to him. Oh, Shire Sword just revolted. Uh, never mind, uh, you're coming over here instead. Need to go kill those Kurds. I can imagine the comments. Dead Arabs and dead Kurds. Now we're truly getting the mid mid Middle Eastern experience. I didn't say that. I was just theorizing that someone in the comments would. You people are like that, aren't you? Crazy bastards. Telling offensive jokes. Not on my watch. Well, I guess on my watch, but... Because I do actually read the comment section, so... Yeah. Still though. Oh, fuck off. Can you just win this for some reason anyways? No? Oh, got an army coming. So. Oh, never mind. Here comes Funch to the rescue. Will he get there in time? Uh, yes, he did. Hey, good on you. I refuse to marry him and I am currently eating him, uh, eating him up, yet he still helps me. So that, that's how I need my vassals. To be. But it's the way of things. <laughs> they just revolted. The first thing I do is just to start convert them. Like, fuck your religion. Fuck your revolts. Fuck everything about you. Good times, good times. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna run away while I siege all his shit. 
Ah, good times indeed. I might just try and sort of trap him down here. That could be great fun. That pretty much give me free range of just sieging everything else, so... Let's get a couple of siegers. Thank you too. Get up here and siege. I love the way that you can have like less than a thousand dudes just take over an entire province. Which I guess makes sense, it's just that it's a bit unusual for a U EU4 anyways. But I guess we can begin taking the forts. Oh, hello battle. They really have more morale than I do. And yeah, they, the, they got the same tech as well. No, actually, no, they, no, they don't. I have better than they do. But, uh... I guess I... Yeah, no, I don't have any... I don't have a general. So that's what make that's what making that problematic. Oh well, that might rob me of that ticking war score, but in the long run I will still win. Oh, I don't want a boat anywhere. Stop it. Oh wow, he still got good okay, well I should probably get some support in. Well, never mind, we won anyways. Uh, can I follow him? Yes. Follow him, I shall. Now you're gonna go over there. Well, I'm gonna meet you. Let's get a general. And, yep, that's the end of him. Good, good, good. Well, let's get everything sieged up. And, uh, oh, here comes the wa Vassal Swarm. I'm still paranoid, though. Like, I cannot understand. There has really not been a revolt here yet. Look at that revolt risk. It's crazy. Fucker's even converting shit to Judaism, and people are not revolting. But he did get... He did manage to make it all to course, though. And whatever places he haven't cored yet, he's currently working on. So, yeah, I, did, I didn't feed him too much land. That's good to know. That really shows how much you can give to a guy without, you know, issues arising. Good, good. So, I want to give him the rest of the Tlemkin's territory that is not cored by Morocco, because I still have a bit of a ambition to make Morocco a vassal. I'm just going to have to figure out how. Or maybe I'm just not going to do it and just have like a super Algiers over here. Could be fun too. Oh, we have a little... Oh, f no! What? Oh, man! Fuck off! I didn't pay attention and he comes and takes all my provinces? That's not okay. Power minus 10. Well, that's actually a lot of money, probably, so let's not. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I want to make Naj the vassal, but right now we need to get rid of m some people before we can really think of making more vassals, but... I don't think that's going to be an issue, because uh, this stuff will cost... War score, that is. Oh, yeah, this, this is, um... And that's not even all. That's... <laughs> yeah. Still plenty of land will need to be given to Hejaz. I think maybe... Like, I don't necessarily want to cut him up like this. So, yes, yes, yes. Because I don't want some... I, I, I would actually prefer it if no one else were to come in and create problems. Oh, maybe I should just read what on earth these promises are. Al Arid. Let's get that one off. Al Arid. Oh, why can't you not click on the map to do this? It made things easier, wouldn't it? What? Farlage. Can I not find Farlage? Oh, there it is. And uh, I want these two. Tama. No. Not that. I guess, yes, to that one. But Taima. Where is Taima? Where's Taima? And this one, Yanubu, blah 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 blah. 
Okay, and then not this, these two. Uh, Jabal Al Shamar, or Jabal Shamar, Hafa, Hafa. Okay. That would be that one, and um, I guess not Jauf. All right, I think we got a peace deal, and yeah, he doesn't have any friendships or whatnot over so that we should break up. So this is this works. Well, actually, it does cost me some power and a bunch of aggressive expansion. Huh? Look at that. Well, no one, even, no one of importance cares, so it's all right. Grow my vassal. Ah, yes, there we are. Okay, so I actually did split him in two, but as long as Marohan is the one who takes these ones in a p potential war, then it's good. Well, it's okay anyways because. Ooh, Matapa's. Well, I says, yeah, I think Matapa's expanded more, and they actually like me. Huh, maybe I'm maybe I'm gonna temporary ally them when I fight Marhan. We'll see. I need to get some uh, relation spots open though. Okay, so the vampire is back. Uh, we got money, so we're pretty much ready for a huge war. Um, now, what huge war will I want to aim for though? That's the thing. I really do not have a lot of admin. I really do not. So coring all the things that would need to be cored when I fight Persia is going to be a pain. So I'd kind of like to save up a bit before I did it. And damn it, these guys haven't revolted yet? Come on. So I think I want to get this whole Hungary thing on the road. I want to figure out a war that is not too big of a deal that France will join. How to do that? Uh, Provence? No, no one has enough power here. Well, Tuscany does actually. Potentially, I could gain an alliance with Tuscany. Well, I mean, uh, well, uh, Casas Belli, the trade thingy. And would France be interested in joining such a thing? Uh, nope, he likes Tuscany, it seems, so that's not gonna happen. You're still friendly, yes, so that's an advantage. And yeah, I will dedicate a missionary to you, not a missionary, a diplomat soon, but not right now. Hungary, what have you been doing? I thought all of this was Milan, and nope, it's Hungary. Hungary is off conquering uh, Italy. Why hasn't he gone reformed or something yet? That would have made his life a lot easier. But no, he does not view it in that way, I guess. Lodians, oh fuck off! I, yeah, maybe we should, maybe this, yeah, this is the place we definitely need another fort. Let's get a fort here, castle. I mean, sorry, get a castle going there. Done with all these annoying revolts causing issues. Sadly, the fort is not going to be done in time, I don't think. Beja, where are these things happening? Where are they happening and why are they not, not given plenty of autonomy? Kazi, Kazir Ibrim. Where's this land? There it is. Autonomy for you. Good. Now, uh, I think it's about time we end the episode. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Jewish Greece, and uh, until next time, bye.